Hi guys, it's Mr. Kevin Hurd again, and I'm here with the very first look at the Mattel 6-inch line of Halo action figures. And as you can see in front of me is the 6-inch scale Ghosts, and we have the Elite that comes with it too to show you. So uh, just uh, an apology up front. I'm not at home right now. I'm on vacation and I was able to grab this and so my video production is a little bit subpar than our usual videos. But thanks for watching anyways and let's get to it. So as you can see this is the uh, six, 6 inch scale ghost and it is a very nice hue blue with some nice deco on it. It comes with a display stand too that needs to be assembled. It just several pieces, these pieces pop in and then are also pop into the bottom of the ghost. You can see it's very well detailed. There's the uh, cockpit view. The levers for the controls, uh, raise and lower, and the, the flaps on both wings also raise and lower. Um, to accommodate different sized figures, the seat extends out so you can fit in your Spartan or your Elite that comes later in the series. Well, the Spartan is. The Ghost does come with the Elite, and I'll be showing that here soon. And we'll just pop this off here. You can see there's three pegs. And uh, these just swivel around. Uh, this one is mounted here and there. But it's got a nice Halo logo there, and it's a nice hexagon pattern in the plastic. Uh, customizers might want to do like a translucent blue, give it that uh, effect the ghost has. So that's a pretty cool stand. And the bottom of the ghost, you've got the three holes for the stand. These, this hole right here and this hole is a locking nut for the packaging. It's a very nice dark blue, silver, dark gray accents. Very well painted. Uh, the feet stands are uh, a soft rubber. Uh, everything else is a pretty sturdy, solid plastic. The uh, front guns do lower and elevate. So, and that's uh, that's our ghost. Uh, I'm I like it. It's uh, very well done. Very well painted. Now to the star of the show is the six inch elite. There he is. Notice he does have some paint detail on the armor now I was told this uh, elite probably has the fewest paint apps because he was a pack in with a vehicle uh, other figures will have actually more paint apps individual figures I should say the armor all this armor is removable. Every single piece comes off. Um, most of it is a 
I want to, I, I will compare it to, let's say, a box lid to a Rubbermaid box. It has a, it's very uh, rigid plastic, very tough. It, it does bend, but it isn't, uh, isn't really rubbery. Um, there are some rubbery parts on him, but mostly the, the shoulder pauldrons, everything uh, that you see that's purple is this uh, nice hard plastic. Um, and it's actually, the system works really well. The, you can see how uh, it combines up. Those two pieces actually work quite well. Um, you notice the this armor, the thigh armor does have a hole for, for a weapon. Uh, the figure does come with uh, two uh, pegs that allow you to put the weapon on the back or on the side. And I'll show you the weapon in just a bit. So uh, the one piece that is a, is a different material is the uh, main torso armor. It is a very rubbery plastic and you can see how it tabs right there and right there. Um, it's very, it's like a, like a rubbery like belt material you'd find on like a He-Man figure. So what I'll do is I'll strip him down to his, uh, his undersuit and then we'll go through the uh, articulation uh, because if I show you the articulation here, the peel, no, that piece fell off. Um, one thing that the uh, forearm pieces do seem to be uh, quite easily fall off. The other pieces are very well uh, they, they, they hold very well on here. Uh, they're all pegged in. Um, so I could see an issue that uh, some of these uh, falling off or stuff, but very easy to, to put back on. Um, when these uh, are loose, they're, they're going to be uh, definitely hard to uh, have, keep all the track of all the parts because it's, it's 30 some pieces of armor. Um, so let me remove the armor bits and you'll notice the the uh, the feet are actually kind of like shoes like almost like a Barbie uh, and those simply just come off now one cool thing I'll pull the thigh armor off um, you might not be able to see it here but every piece inside has a L or an R if it's a if it correlates to a certain side so as you're putting it on, you, you can tell which uh, which side that, that piece goes to, which is nice. I would like them to maybe increase the size of the L and R, make it a little bit more readable on some of the pieces. Uh, but it's it's on there. So very cool. Let's just snap this off. I mean, it's very... You can hear that, how rigid it is but very very durable it's not uh it's not real rubbery but it but it is flexible Put that off there and again that you can notice the, these two pieces it works really well i mean they, they snap together really nice creating a single piece and we got his uh his back bone which, uh, you can, we can see that he's got a, a actual silver paint app here uh, over the uh, the matte uh, paint of the uh, of the rest of the suit. Got quite a few pieces to pull off. We'll pull off this helmet, and the helmet is a uh, it tabs in right here. Uh, on the back top so uh, you still get a, a nice unhindered uh, you know no pig head 
um, figure. Let's see if I can get a nice zoom in on the face here. You can see he's, uh, he's got some paint apps. He's got red in there and his little white teeth and his beady little eyes. It's fairly well done. And now to remove the main torso armor. Well, let's get his crotch plate off. There's a hole right there. Um, and on this, we just simply uh, untab these. Like I said, these are this is a really flexible rubber plastic. And that just pulls off. So it's very, uh, this is a very rubbery plastic, unlike the rest of the armor. Now, the basic elite figure design, oh, there went a light, um, is very well sculpted. There's a lot of detail. There's a, you can see the veins and the, and the, the all the different crevices and, and detail. Um. Let's go through the articulation. So his head, we have a, a up and down and side to side. It's a, I'm not quite sure what type of joint that is. We've got rotation on the on the inner head itself. So there's quite a bit of movement on the uh, the arm. We've got a ball joint with a hinge. And so we're able to get full rotation and a lot of posability there. Tons of posability in this figure. There is no articulation right here, but there is articulation, a spin, and a joint, lever joint in the elbow. So very very good articulation lots of poses you'll notice too that there's a uh, a skin tone on the upper part it's darker so there's a paint app there um, and the two tones of the under armor there and the wrist is on a a hinge and a spin so we've got uh, quite a bit of articulation in there uh, the fingers are all separately cut and so oh that, that that last one isn't i'm sorry that one isn't but the but the, the three are so we should be able to get his weapon in there fairly easy um, now let's go to the uh the torso which he's got the uh, mid joint of the torso allows for full rotation and forward and back. So we can do the ab crunches and we can do the five minute abs. Um, <laughs> and we'll look at the back again. It's a nice additional paint app on there. The, the figure overall, um, it's, it's lighter. Uh, it doesn't seem as dense as the previous line of figures by McFarlane. Um, but I, in no way, I think, takes away from the, from the figure. Um, it's still very solid feeling. Um, and the, the joints are, 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 are fairly nice and, and not too tight, not too loose. Um, now let's get back to the articulation. Uh, the leg, thigh, upper thigh articulation. Uh, we've got a, uh, a T joint right there, I think it's called. We switch in and out and up and down a little bit. So, and then right there we've got 
full rotation. So that's quite a bit, bit of our articulation right there. And the uh, backwards knee joint, we've got a uh, joint with a lever joint. And so we're going to do the full rotation and then the compression and forward. So again, a lot of articulation, a lot of poses. The foot, we have uh, full rotation, of course, and it, it's a, a lever joint again. So we can go forward and back and then rotate. Very well done. Um, I'm personally uh, impressed with the, the figure so far, this line. Uh, this is the carbine. Uh, the detailing on this is not quite in, as crisp as what I would like it to be. Uh, I think the, the weapons could probably do a little bit, they could do a little bit better on. Um, and you can see it's got quite, it's got the appropriate paint apps, but it is, it, it could still use more like on, on the display here. Um, it is a semi-hard plastic it is flexible some but it is not soft like some of the previous weapons from other series and let me see if I can get him to hold the get his hand in here yeah it yeah he pretty well can hold that weapon uh, so that's a that's a decent job on that and uh, overall uh, for being the very first six inch figure by Mattel um, I think they did a pretty darn good job uh, you know there's a few things they could uh, could do better on maybe some more paint apps but again this was a pack in with a vehicle figure so the basic figure line single figure should have more paint um let, let me uh, let me show you the well, we'll show the instruction it did come with some instructions and it shows the uh the elite and the armor and the ghost and the pegs and the th four pieces for the stand. And that's got the uh, just the basic instructions on on how to how all the parts go. So. Well, that's a quick review of the. Uh, Halo Mattel six inch figure line. Um, the very first offerings. Um, I would say this is a buy. So thanks for watching this review. Uh, I look forward to uh, seeing the first Spartans in this line. Uh, see you later.